Hi, I'm Bill from Water to Gas Hawaii, and we're here to do a demonstration for installing a unit. It could be any unit, uh, but this is uh, how we install our unit. Okay, I'm holding here the HFS1 unit, which uh, is about 500 milliliters per minute uh, generator, and we're going to put this in this van. This is a, a GMC Safari. It's also similar to the uh, Chevy Astro. And uh, this vehicle here is a 1991, so it's an uh, easy installation. Let's show you how to do it. First, you want to um, find a place for the unit. And uh, what we did is we looked around inside the engine, take a look at the engine. All right, and we found some a space right here between the battery and uh, the brake uh, master cylinder. Here's the master cylinder, here's the battery, there's some space here. So that's where we're going to put the unit. We had to move the battery over. We had to move the battery over just a little bit to give it space. And we're going to drop it in right there. Okay, this is the uh, bottom. And we see we have the two electrical connectors. This is where the water, uh, the water flows in. Gases flow out the top. And uh, we have a lid here that uh, will eventually be changed to a flash, uh, flashback arrestor. So this is uh, how you, we, we're going to install it. We have a bubbler system, which we've modified. This is one you can buy at a uh, local auto parts store. Uh, we've got fittings on the bottom. And we've actually glued one way a check valve for, uh, going out here and coming in here at the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and hook that on. Now we're going to just attach the water like so. And then we just place the unit inside the vehicle until it fits. And uh, uh, this this is the uh, output. The output goes to the bubbler. Okay, we put that. We connect that there. And this is our flow going from the top. And then we have the uh, other end. The check valve goes through this pipe, and it connects to a plastic part here that comes for, to the air cleaner. And basically all we did was just, we just drill a hole, put a fitting like so. And then that connects to the uh, air cleaner and goes into the engine from there. And once the uh, bottle's in place, the flow comes out the top bubbles through the bubbler and then goes back in. Now another thing that's interesting about this setup is I've discovered that when you have it set up like this what happens is it builds up pressure and and when you first turn the unit on the water level will start to rise until it gets to a point where the the water will actually start bubbling through the system and, and that's actually a good thing because what it does is it puts the unit under a little bit of pressure which uh, also helps prevent it from overheating and uh, so now we just uh, connect the electrical. Now the way we do the electrical is, in, in this particular case, we looked for a wire that was uh, always that was actually would come on when you turn the key on, or what we call key on ignition. And uh, the, basically, the only way you can really find it is by trial and error. Uh, there's a nice big red wire right here. I thought this might be a good one, but this one was always on, so that wasn't going to work. And this pink wire is what we ended up using. And as you can see, we're using a, uh, a tap. Uh, I'll show you that in another video. And then from there, it hooks up to a fuse where we make a uh, homemade inline fuse. Basically, you just connect it like so, and voila. Okay, so basically, to set up a ground, we just simply uh, connect a, uh, a wire, and we just used a self-tapping screw drilled it right into the uh, frame right there and uh, as you can see the wire just has about a quarter inch of um, uh, stripping and then we put uh, a connector on the other end as well so uh, basically to connect this to the unit we just unscrew it and put it right on uh, basically we're using 12 or 14 gauge wire to do the install this right here is a black wire we're going to use for the ground and I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to put one of these little fasteners on. You can see here I got a fastener. And what this is, is this is a crimp on tool right here. 
and a fastener and it's very very simple first thing we need to do is strip it and the best way to strip it is find the right gauge by uh, I think this is a 12 gauge and we just basically put this in between the two guides about a quarter inch pull and voila you have stripped already it's that easy so what I do is I twist it a little bit and then I put the uh, so I can see the metal you can see the copper in there and then we just simply put this between here where it says crimp right get it lined up and squeeze and it's done there you go okay and we already have a hole here but uh, normally you would just uh, take your drill and using these self tapping screws just screw it right in and this is this makes a ground connection okay so now we're just going to connect it to the bottom of the unit like so just tighten the nut and the ground is done the positive side we cover with the um, electrical tape in case it touches anything below uh, we don't want it to ground out so we just cover it up with uh, some tape and good to go this particular unit is going to be over plastic so it's not going to be touching anything metal and we just make sure that we run the wire where it can get to where it needs to go and basically attach the 30 amp fuse like so this is a poor man's inline fuse and voila let me just hook up the water now and make sure that everything is tight and that's it and that's it for the install.